Hi everyone, it's Melody Lane here. This is an SVG of Moon Knight. This was made by George Schneider. I think George made it. George or Ken made it. And Ken Kindler's birthday is coming! So I asked George, I said, well, who's his favorite superhero or something? What can I make a card for him? So he sent me this SVG. He said he wanted to do it for Ken, but Ken would know he was doing it. And to tell you the truth, when he first sent this to me, it had lots of these little pieces were tiny pieces of white, all each separate. George usually makes Ken do those pieces. So I, I emailed George back and I said, uh, can you fix that SVG so we don't have all those little pieces? So he did. So he made it awesome. So now it has just, see this down here? You probably can't see it very well. Well, I guess here I'll show you. I'll ungroup these. And look. Then we have that. And this would actually be cool cut out in vinyl. So I think that is really cool. Put that back. Because it makes it so easy. Let me show you in the go. Well, actually, to get it in the right spot, I'm going to undo. There we go. So I'm going to hit go just so you can see what it looks like and notice all these little yellow pieces those are not going to be cut so here's this piece and then it will have a blue background and then the purple pieces are from the very bottom the chimney thing he's stepping on and then those are his eyes and now these little tiny yellow pieces that is just not going to happen. Unless I was making this thing like 12 by 12. I'm not cutting out these little pieces and gluing those on anywhere. So instead of these little, they're little lights coming out of the building, like little windows. Instead of these, I'm going to use a white marker and just make little windows. And then I might put some yellow stickles over it. They'll look, uh, yellow glitter glue. Something like that. I'm not cutting those out. And then here's the white background. So you put the blue on, you put the white on, and you put the black over it, and then you put the these little eyes here. And that's it. So it's pretty simple. Thank you, George, for making it so simple. But today I'm going to make an easel card. This is an SVG from George Schneider from Crafts by Two. So it's a card for Ken Kindler. And it's gonna go like that. This is what I recommend is the Zig Two Way glue pen. Although Martha Stewart, I think, has a pen that actually has a ballpoint pen, almost like. I know Martha Stewart has one. I don't have one, I guess. I was thinking this was it, but something on my list I'm gonna have to get. I'm gonna be using my wet pen and glitter glue to make windows inside the buildings. This, it scored it here and here in my Cricut Design Space. A lot of people say they don't like the scoring, that they have to rescore it. Now, this I did fold a little bit, so the score is there. But this one you can hardly see, and these were the same. So what I did to get this one to show up more, I just kind of bent the paper. And then it kind of just bends right there. All you have to just push it down. It totally works. And this is kind of thick paper. I actually cut it on poster board setting because it was so thick because my other black paper is really thin. And I thought, well, that's too thin for a card. So I dug down in my black paper. And then the center fold, you just kind of bend it and the score line is there. And you can use a bone folder on it. So if you don't have design space or you're not a patron that you can just get this file and don't have to measure anything, all you have to do is, this doesn't have to be rounded, but I want the roundness to match my SVG, so that's why I made it rounded. You could just make the card and fold it, make it like a square card, fold it in half, and then you fold this in half again. So that's all you do. And then you put this, you glue something on here, and you put something here, so it'll stand up. So it's not too hard. Okay, this is my first time making it. 
Okay, now to get my measurements exact, I actually did have to use a calculator. Yeah. Um, because the crickets do not cut out 12 by 12 paper. So originally you had this six inches. So it'd be really easy. So you make this 12 inches and you score it at six and score it at three. That's simple. Well, when I realized, oh no, it's not going to cut 12 inches, so I cut everything down to five and a half. So this square now is a five and a half inch square. And then I had to do half of five and a half is 7.2 or 2.75. And so I scored it at 2.75 and then five and a half inches. And now this, let me make sure I get this right. That's gonna go. Oh, that doesn't fit because it's upside down. Okay, that's gonna go like that. Well, it's gonna have the white layer in there. So, this is the top. So, I'm going to put adhesive on here. Make this straight. Normally, I would put the SVG together first but I really want to get the card part done. So that looks pretty good. And to make sure I do get it straight when I put it on there, I'm going to put a little line on the back. So measure this. Fold that down. That might not be necessary with everything, but because this is a complete circle and I'm not putting it on totally made together, I'll know that I get it straight. Okay, so I'm gonna use adhesive. Okay, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it on this way. And what I'm gonna do, we're gonna put this on but I'm going to match this line up with the line I wrote here. And then match up the sides evenly because they should match pretty well. So they're about the same size. sun. This I used brick paper and I originally in the video the software I had another square up here of black and I really didn't like it. It covered this up too much and maybe I should have spent more time trying to find a better font to write on brick. I wish there was a font or something that looked like graffiti. I'm not sure if there, I don't, oh, of course there is one. I don't know if you can get I don't know. I didn't find one. If I do, maybe I'll redo this. But I just wanted it printed right on the brick paper and I just cut out a piece of this brick paper and I was actually shocked that it got this perfectly. It got these three rows of brick. I didn't even try to do that, although I'm happy with the result of it. And I'm going to do a little more than just the edges. Just give it a little extra character. I got this paper, this cardstock from, I think from Joann's a while ago. It was on clearance. It's the real photo packs. If you ever see those real photo packs, I love them. They're like real. They're just pictures and paper. And oh my gosh, look what I did. This is the Tim Holtz Distress Ink, the fired brick. Of course, it's the right color. And now I look like I've been bleeding. Look! Okay. Let me put this on. And I'm going to puff this up. Not puff. I'm going to put these on it. I really should use bigger ones. 
There's so many of these. I love these. These come in a pack with these small ones and then some bigger ones from Joann's. They're called Foam Squares. Oh no! Getting the ink everywhere. It's Distress Ink, so it... Maybe I should have washed my hands. Now I gotta add a little more. And this will sit like that. Isn't that cute? Well, when we get this done. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands. I'll be right back. Okay, although it doesn't look like it much, I did wash my hands. So hopefully we won't get any more ink on here. Okay, let's go ahead. Okay, now make sure this is all the right way. This on. right over the blue layer and this one make sure you put the adhesive on the right side of it you have to kind of quit put this on quickly so what I do is I put it all over and then I go through and kind of add dots of it If this adhesive dries on here, it'll be temporary and not permanent. So I put it all over the whole thing first. And if it dries, it's still going to stick. You want to make sure you get it on some of them more than once. It's wet. I'm going to put this adhesive down here in the bigger pieces. Okay. Finger sticking. If you push this down, you'll see it's wetter with blue. If you do it while it's blue, it's going to be permanent. So it all has adhesive on it, but I'm just going to go over it more. Make it a little wetter in spots so it'll be more permanent. Kind of put dots around. And then you definitely want this outline here to be, have lots of adhesive so it doesn't come off. up the fingers first. That will help you get it straight. To match up the other hand. If you can get the two hands straight on each side, it should be pretty much even. Now we gotta get the eyes. Isn't that cool? I also 
also forgot about the chimney. Okay, now only one of the white eyes stay, and I left it there, so I would know which eye. These eyes look too small. cut out so small. Okay, I'm going to have to cut those out again. Let's put this chimney on. This goes here. And this is the top. He's kind of stepping on the chimney. And there's no really place telling you where to place it, but I'm trying to make a the edge of it to be about like that here. And then there's a little space between the two of them. You see that? this ink everywhere. I'm going to add some windows. I'm going to use yellow stickles and I'm just going to just dot it on there just a tiny bit. I could use a yellow marker on top of the white because yellow would not show up. That's why I used white first so you'd be able to see the color. All right, here's the card. I'll zoom out in a minute so you can actually see it all. But I have these eyes. Let's check which one goes there. This right one stays attached, but the other ones don't. I don't have my little tool here. I think that's that one. I think the eyes are different. I don't know if they're the same. It probably really doesn't even matter. Ken might find see a difference. So these eyes, actually in the picture there's black that goes around them, but I don't know, that doesn't really cut out well or something. So I'm going to go around them with a marker. Oh, I forgot to put the lid on this. Oh, and look what happened. You can't see, can you? Can you guys see that? Oh, you can't see it. My glue, I just pushed it down and it all, this thing came out. Like this whole thing came out. That's never happened. I left the lid off of it. Don't leave the lid off of it. And then I pushed it down and then that's what happens. Oh, man. Back to this. I'm going to take this eye off, this one, because it only has one. So I don't want it to be higher than the other one. And that's where I will start it. Okay. No, it will start right there. I think it goes something like that. Then I'm going to use my marker.
I'm going around the cut and then on top of the cut a little bit. And I did use a metallic paper, a light blue metallic paper for the eyes. So here, you, this is how it'll be when he gets it. And then he'll open it up. You can open it up like that. And then you can stand it up like that. So I hope you had a great birthday, Ken. And thanks for watching, everyone. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. And I want to give a shout out to my co-sponsors, Tanya Croquet, Jamie Molina, Tabitha Carroll, Rose Andrews, Kathy Hanusa, and Nancy.